Welcome to Alice Family Kitchen, everyone. My name is Lynn. Today, I am going to make one of my family's favorite healthy and delicious meals, beef and broccoli. It is super easy and fast to make. You can make it in less than 30 minutes. Let's get started. Please check the description for a complete list of ingredients. We're making a meal for four people, so for that, we're going to need one pound of sliced beef. What I have here is New York steaks sliced into a quarter inch thick. This recipe will work with flank steak or other cuts of beef as well. When I went to the store, the New York steak was cheaper than flank steak, so I decided to use New York steak instead. And we're also going to need 12 ounces of uh, broccoli florets. We're going to start with marinating the beef, and for the marinade, we're going to need one egg white, an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of rice wine, three teaspoons of cornstarch, and one tablespoon of regular soy sauce. To marinate the beef, we're going to dump all the ingredients in there. And get your hand in there and massage the ingredients into the beef. I've been massaging it for about two minutes so that the flavor will soak into the beef and the massaging process also tenderizes the meat. We're going to set this aside. Next, we're going to mix the sauce ingredients together. For the sauce, we're going to need one tablespoon of regular soy sauce, one tablespoon of uh, oyster sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and one tablespoon of water. We're just going to mix everything together in a bowl. Mix it well evenly and make sure there are no lumps of flour in there and then set it aside. Next, we're going to blanch the broccoli to remove the bitter flavor from the vegetable. It is a recommended practice for cooking collard greens in Chinese cooking. With a big pot of water boiling, we're going to add in a little bit of salt. I added about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then we're going to add the broccoli. Make sure all the broccoli is submerged. Cover and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, I'm going to strain and set the broccoli aside while we cook the beef. You can cook the broccoli a little bit longer if you prefer your vegetables to be a little bit more tender. With the wok smoking, we're going to cook the beef in two batches. And into the wok, I am going to add about two tablespoons of oil. I'm using peanut oil. You can also use any kind of uh, cooking oil with a high burning point. In there. Keep stirring it so it gets hard and it gets that wok haze all around. Cook the beef until it's 80% done. And then 80% done means it's still going to be a little bit of pink inside. Now we're ready to put everything together. With the wok smoking, we're going to add in about one tablespoon of oil. And very quickly, we're going to cook this very quickly, so make sure you have all of your ingredients handy. Into the wok, we're going to add ginger, garlic, and then add the beef back in. a quick stir and add the sauce in around the rim of the wok. And stir it. This only takes 30 seconds to finish. 
As soon as the sauce thickens up and it's evenly coating the meat and vegetables, you're done. There you have it. Super fast and easy and delicious beef and broccoli. This is what I would call a one dish meal because it's got vegetables and meat in there. And all you need is a small bowl of rice to complete the meal. And it's what I would make on a busy weeknight for my family. And let's give it a try, shall we? Check out that meat. The meat is very tender and flavorful and the broccoli is cooked just right. The whole flavor of the dish is very well balanced. It's clean, it's light, and it's just delicious. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.